This deck is absolutely solid if you play it right. And I'm just gonna go for my Gromms with Rich. I'm currently top 10 in the world on my main account. I'm using now my secondary account, like kind of to push up a bit. And let's see. So I'm just gonna go for minor bets. Since the tornado's auto cycle, this is like a really good opportunity for us. And let's kind of find out what he plays. Okay, he has Firecracker. Oh, let's go. This is one shot. And I think I'm just gonna go cycle my Firecracker here. I think this is the best play, just cycling here in the middle. And let's see how it's gonna respond to that. So. I'm just gonna decide to go this, I'm just gonna go goblins. I think this is the optimal play, I'm just gonna go wall breaker now. Kinda allows me to just get maybe some chip damage or not. I'm just gonna go for a miner here, maybe. I think I'm just gonna go miner, but because his goblins out of cycle and also his mighty miner's not in cycle yet. So I think he doesn't have anything right now against the mine. And the miner's completely connecting there. He needs to play a log to kinda make sure the miner's not gonna do too much damage. But we still chip this tower down below. 3.3k HP. So I'm just gonna go for my cracking. I'm just gonna go for goblins. I'm just gonna go for a bomb tower here. I think this is like really smart bomb tower because. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my mighty miner here. Okay, mighty miner is doing a great job. I'm just gonna go for my bats. Okay, now I think I'm just gonna go now for my wall breaker. He's like really low on elixir. He's really low on elixir. I'm just gonna use my ability early. Might get some chip damage now. He's gonna play like really smart goblins. But I'm just gonna play my evolution quicker now. I'm just gonna go miner instantly at, um, with that. And he needs to kind of play a mighty miner. But the question is where he's gonna play it. Is he even back away? I don't really think he's even back. I can just go also for bats. He just goes in for Infanto, which is fine. But it, oh, it still chips on tower, right? It still does so much damage. Okay, that's crazy. You need to play an ability. We really want you to use an ability. The also ability alone doesn't kill the firecracker and um, the evolution cracker when it's full life. But here it did um, because I already got some damage beforehand. So we kind of need to be careful. Also, his evolution cracker is honestly doing a great job for him. Okay, I'm just gonna go now for King to activation here, which is gonna not work because I absolutely failed that. Evolution cracker is crazy, guys. Ooh, that wasn't that wasn't really well played. But I guess I'm just gonna go for my lock here. And Cracker Drill is like absolutely annoying. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just gonna go for my Mighty Miner here. Just gonna use my ability, let's go. Now I'm just gonna go now for my Miner here. I'm also gonna go for Wall Breaker. Miner's chipping away, which is of course massive for us. Also, the Cracker is connecting. And let's see, what's he gonna do now? I'm just gonna go for Bats. Cracker, Miner, Goblins. I'm just gonna go Goblins on defense here and just pressure. They're like the Goblins alone are defending that. And now I'm just gonna go now for another Miner. But this time I go in the back because if he goes in Goblins in front, the, the Goblins go back. The bats are connected on tower. Let's go. Some more chip damage, please, please. It's enough. It's enough. I can just cycle. Lord GG's well played. First game done. Let's go. So, guys, guys, we jump into game number two. We're playing. Against Moogie himself, the goat, the milf, the legend. And let's kind of see what he plays. So I'm just gonna go for my cracker here in the back. If I like the E-Spirit, it has to be Voyage I most likely. So he's just gonna fireball. I'm just gonna go for the miner like this because this is my perfect place because most of the time I just go fisherman in the middle. And if he decides to do that, the miner gets them chip and also they're gonna most likely also try to catch the safe spot as we're seeing here. Okay, I'm just gonna go lock here. He's gonna cycle a ghost. This means like a free mighty miner over there. And let's see. I might just go wall breaker opposite lane to be fair. I think that's smart. He needs to go log. It's all right. I'm just gonna go cracker here. Cracker is doing a great job. We do also <laughs> connect to tower once. I don't know how we could get a connection there, but that's crazy. Oh, we also get the ability on tower. Bro, Moogie's doing some mistakes. He also qualified, if you guys don't know, for the world finals already. So he's not a bad player. If you can kind of say that. Okay, so he's just gonna go for the ghost here. Okay. I'm just gonna go now for this, this. We need to be a bit careful here. So I'm just gonna go defensive miner now. Defensive miner is coming down. I'm also gonna go for my lock here. Wasn't optimal. Wasn't optimal at all. 
but we're still ahead. So we're just gonna go for a wall breaker here because he needs to. Yeah, we're forcing out the fireball. New his lock was not uh, was out of cycle, so that was a really really clean wall breaker play. And we're kind of also bagging our elixir. We're kind of back in cycle, so nothing to really worry about. And also, of course, our fire quicker now gets a ton of value. But of course, here's the next the next RG which he's gonna play will be the evolution warrior giant. So we should be a bit careful about that. Um, I might just go now for my mighty mine in the back. I'm just gonna go for my evolution cracker. I'm just gonna go go goblins. I'm just gonna go minor bats here. And I'm just gonna use my ability here, great ability, I would say. I'm just gonna go cracker here. We do get a connection, which is great. <laughs> of course, it's great. I love connections. I'm just gonna go goblins here. Go minor plus. This. He's just gonna go bad. So I'm just gonna go from a wall breaker here. Optimal, not optimal wall breaker, but it's still okay. Just to go king to activation. I'm just gonna lock this. Makes sense. So honestly, not really too bad of wall breaker because you activate king to anyway. So I'm just gonna go minor this. Just gonna go this. Needs to go kind of ghost opposite lane. That's what it does. Hmm. Play my bats there. Minor. Okay. I'm just gonna go wall breaker. Maybe we're baiting out something. It would be at least cool. Yes, even just an East Bird. It's actually huge. So I'm just gonna go for my goblins here. Just gonna use my ability. Using my cracker, I'm just gonna use wall breaker to pressure him that he cannot go for another warrior giant. Goblins. Just gonna use a defensive miner there. And we are back, guys. We are back. I'm just gonna go wall break. I think I'm just gonna pre-log, maybe hit something. I just decided to go log instead. Okay, I'm just gonna go for mighty miner back. Now I still feel cool. Uh, I still feel like it could be maybe put us trouble at one point but i don't know i'm just gonna go use my cracker now rg okay. great defense not gonna lie i'm just gonna go minor here um, please die thank you so much i was a bit lucky you know <laughs> that was a bit lucky guys just gonna go wall breaker okay i just need to go minor defensive here i'm just gonna go now for this this okay just using my log this bats Cracker still alive, which is of course really cool. I'm just using another miner and just another cracker there. I'm using my miner there, using my log. Connect your tower, please connect your tower. Let's go! Let's go, Cracker! You're awesome, you're the best ever. And this is over, guys. We beat Moogie, we beat a world champion with this cycle deck, guys. Let's go! Next up, we play against Nexus. I need to say, this guy is interesting. I don't know. I don't really like him, to be honest, because he's always stream sniping me for no reason. And he just might use something interesting. I'm just going for a wall breaker. Okay. He's just going to use Royal Giant. Okay, like another one. I think like Royal Giant is like the deck which I was using. Royal Giant and Hawk. These are like the two main decks in Clash Royale right now. Like, they're not really like any other decks, of course, like Lava Loon, like Calls to uh, playing, but. I feel like Lava On is a deck which like some people are playing, but people which aren't really too confident are not picking Lava On up, just like some one tricks which are using Lava On in my opinion. So I'm just gonna use my bats now, I feel like. And I'm just gonna use my cracker. Just gonna go right here. I'm just gonna go now for my um bats there. Good bats. Cleaning the Royal Giant up now. He still kind of needs to play something against the bats. I'm just gonna go now for this. Okay, he goes backwards. Let's go. Let's go. Did so much damage. Let's go. Ho, ho, ho. I love bats. One of my favorite cards in the uh, in the whole game. But sometimes they're not really too great in the matter, especially with all the fire spirits back down around, ice spirits, e spirits, mother witches. But I just feel like they can always surprise people, and this is exactly what we did there. He has like the East, but he has the Phoenix, both not on cycle, and we just absolutely destroyed him. Also, of course, he just played the Fireball. So, of course, still, there's gonna be a warning. Every time he plays this old, annoying guy in the back, or like at the bridge, we need to be extremely careful. 
So, what's the plan here? Okay, just gonna use this. I'm just gonna go bats here. I'm just gonna use log. Let's go. Pre log is coming down. Pre log is awesome. I'm just gonna go for a bomb tower like this because now we now we don't give him fireball value. I'm just gonna use my goblins here. Perfect. Goblins, no damage taken. We are doing a great job. And now I'm just gonna go miner here. I'm just gonna go bats and also just gonna go pre log here. Maybe we hit something. We hit, a, we hit a ghost, which means we might get a shot so close. Bro, you got lucky there. Goblins. And just once again. Just once again. Same thing over again. Just gonna use my miner here. Bats are connecting to tower. Maybe he needs to play a ghost. And now we do get a connection this time. This time. It's the time to get damage. And also my bat is still alive. I can just go in for this here. I'm using my log now. Perfect log. He doesn't have anything, he still needs to play something to get my tower. But you won't, brother. This deck, it makes so much fun to play and it's so good at the same time, guys. I can't believe that we're now facing RG three times in a row. Is that true? Is that true? And to be fair, it's the only matchup you need to play. This deck counters the best decks right now in Clash Royale. It does roll against Hawk because you're always able to get some chip damage there. Um, With the... Um, <clears throat> you always get some chip damage there with the. Okay, I'm just gonna go miner here, by the way. Always jump chip damage with the miner there, and you have a great defense, and you're just gonna outcycle also, which is great. And the uh, how's it called? Um, the ice boot and the firecracker, right? Miner bats can be so so strong. You're just playing the whole game defense, which sometimes you're getting cracker chip. Miner logs working really well against um type of um type of um like goblins of the minor play and this is how you win so if you're like looking for a deck which is really like countering the meta it's also a bit free to play friendly of course you need kind of the mighty mine in there but if you guys don't have use the knight instead but also without card evolution this deck is pretty well but it's like really of course hard to say for me because most likely not gonna face too many of the evolutions at least that's what i think um but that's what i also hope for you guys so I'm just gonna go for, for my bomb tower here. Great bomb tower, let's go. Because we played a bomb tower like that, that uh, Fisherman didn't do anything. And I'm just gonna decide to go in here for my wall breaker. He's just gonna go decide go instant like for a skull. And I'm still gonna use the ability because I know I'm still forcing out something. And I think I'm just gonna go now for my goblins here. Is he gonna go pre lock? No, he's not gonna go pre lock. So I'm just gonna go goblins there. Okay, that's great. So, this is the only matchup we need to learn, of course, Hawk Rider also, but I feel like Hawk Rider can be... It, it, it kind of depends on the opponent skill level, of course, right? But I feel like Hawk Rider is a bit easier to play, because you have, like, the great answers, but against, um... But against, like, RG, you kind of get overwhelmed sometimes, so always, like, trying to bait out the opponent's fireball with the fire quick and just cycle quicker than him. If you cycle quicker than him, you're gonna win eventually. So I'm just gonna go for my Lock here. Maybe like kind of making sure that he's not going to get the king to activation, but it's fine. I'm just going to go goblin, I'm just going to go wall breaker. And he just decides to go for this. So I'm just going to go use my ability. I'm just going to go bats. I'm just going to go use my lock. Okay, I'm just going to use this. I'm just going to go for another bats here because our cycle is so, so quick. And we are chilling here. Um, I'm just going to go miner. I'm just going to go wall breaker. Play my lock here, great pre-lock, wall breaker will also connect. And I think now I'm just gonna go for my cracker here. And the game is over. The game is over. He knows that, we know that. It's just about like cycling a bit. And if you like hate Warrior Giant, if you hate this one deck which everybody's using right now, this is the deck you wanna really play it off success with. Wall breaker, what the heck is happening? But also my cracker does a pretty good job here. Kills the ghost, kills the tower, and this is it for today's video. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and let me know what you guys think about this deck.